Hi everyone and welcome to episode 10 of Power Pop Shakers where I talk about Power Pop new releases and the odd reissue. There's a lot to get through today so we'd better crack on. Uh, first group to mention is The Regrets who are led by the young singer-songwriter Lydia Knight and their third album is due out uh, sometime in the first half of this year on Warner Brothers. Uh, in the meantime, I can recommend a live session that they recorded for K-Rock Radio and they performed three of their most power pop friendly tracks, uh, California Friends, I Dare You and a recent single Monday, which is going to be on the third album. Uh, I've added the session to the Power Pop Shakers playlist, which you can find by simply going to my channel and clicking on playlists and you'll find it there. Uh, they're producing youthful, joyful pop music and I'm expecting really big things from them this year. Uh, second up we've got Go Cactus and the album We Have Wasted the Chance But We Are Fine and that's due out on the 1st of April 2022 and it will be their debut album. Uh, they're based in Barcelona although, or, although they were originally formed in Mallorca. Uh, on Time has been added to the Power Pop Shakers playlist. Next it's the album Stories by the Suttles and it's available on the Topsy Turvy label. Uh, this is their second album in just a year and uh, the track Sad Story has been added to the Power Pop Shakers playlist. They are a Paris based uh, Power Pop trio and they've got a late 70s sort of new wave feel with frantic guitars. Uh, next up it's The Times and my picture gallery The Art Pop Recordings which is a six CD box set that's been put out by Cherry Red. It's an excellent gathering together of the albums they recorded for the Art Pop label between 1982 and 1986. Uh, the real indie pop gems with pop art and uh, mod revival uh, influences. Edward Bull's uh, songwriting uh, really does uh, excel throughout uh, if you're interested in the UK mod revival and also the sort of origins of the C86 uh, indie uh, pop sound, um, you really do need to hear this uh, collection. I've added I Helped, Patrick McGowan Escape and Picture Gallery to the Power Pop Shakers playlist. Uh, moving on, we come to The Small Breed and their album A Remember a Dream, which has been put out by the Bickerton label. Uh, the title track is on the Power Pop Shakers playlist. There are five pieces from Tilburg in the Netherlands and it's their debut album. It's uh, 60s influenced pop with sort of hints of psych and uh, post-psych melancholia. And next up it's Action City and this is Action City, an album uh, put out by Future Man and they are Power Pop duo Michael uh, Slaughter and Sean Lynch. Uh, the opening track, The Lines You Blur, is on the Power Pop Shakers playlist and the 12-string Rickenbacker guitar will really hook you uh, as soon as you hear it. And uh, they remind me a little of the Windbreakers who were um, quite big in the 1980s. And moving on, we come to Jim Baznight and his album Jokers, Idols and Misfits which has been put out by the Danger House Skylab label and it's a career overview which includes his recordings with the Mobileys. Uh, the Rebel Kind, which is possibly his best known track with the Mobileys, uh, has been added to the Power Pop Shakers playlist. And Next we've got the Cortinas and the album Defiant Pose, Singles and Demos 1977-1978 which is due out on the Radiation label on the 11th of February 2022. Uh, there were a UK punk band that was signed to Step Forward in 1977 and um, Defiant Pose, which was the B-side on their first single, uh, has been added to the Power Pop Shakers playlist. Their sound is actually closer to power pop than punk, uh, due, I suspect, to their background uh, pre-punk as an R&B covers band. Right, uh, next it's uh, Paper Cuts and the album Past Life Regression, uh, which is coming out on the Slumberland label on the 1st of April 2022. Uh, I Want My Jacket Back is on the Power Pop Shakers playlist now, and uh, Paper Cuts is the brainchild of Jason Cueva, who's based in San Francisco. 
I Want My Jacket Back, the primer for the forthcoming album, is a real quality song and it's a oozing late 60s uh, psych pop influences and also has indie pop credentials. Uh, the spine tingling middle eight just brings to mind the Velvet Underground. I think this is a real uh, class song and augurs well for the album that's due in April. Moving on, we come to uh, David Christian and the Pinecone Orchestra and his album For Those We Met On The Way, which has been put out by the uh, Tappet label, a uh, German label, and uh, the tracks The Ballad of the Button Downs and Lockets, Dropouts and Dragnets have both been added to the Power Pop Shakers playlist. Uh, in case you're wondering who uh, David Christian is, uh, this is uh, his first solo album, having been part of um, indie pop legends uh, comic game for, for many many years now uh, it's full of complex lyrics and uh, a controlled anarchy in, in the sound and uh, if you like a comic game you're sure to enjoy this uh, solo debut album next it's a comeback album after 10 years for Urge Overkill the album's called We and it's being put out by Omnivore on the 11th of February 2022 uh, the songwriting chops of Nash Cato and King Rosa are still very much in evidence. I've uploaded the very poppy track um, A Necessary Evil to the Power Pop Shakers playlist. Right, uh, Kiwi Jr. are a Canadian uh, indie rockers and um, they remind me a little of television and pavement. Um, they put out an album called uh, Cooler Returns about 12 months ago now on the Sub Pop label. Uh, I've uploaded instead um, to the playlist a live session they recorded for KEXP, which I think is uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, they should have been touring the UK and Europe this month, but unfortunately the tour has been uh, cancelled due, of course, to COVID-19. Uh, next, another artist who's done a real return to form, and that's Elvis Costello and his album The Boy Named If... It's a truly stunning return to the, the classic sound of the attractions from the late 70s. Uh, Magnificent Hurt is on the Power Pop Shakers uh, playlist if you want to hear it. Um, Elvis is everywhere at the moment uh, promoting this album. I think he realises it's uh, a, a really good uh, commercial uh, set of songs. Uh, he even turned up on BBC Breakfast News the other day in a very relaxed mood and, and uh, articulate as usual. Next we have a 7 inch single by uh, Eater, uh, 1977 Punks uh, and it couples No Brains with um, Jeepster and has been put out by the Antenna label. Unfortunately like most of these um, limited edition 7 inch singles it appears to have sold out straight away. Uh, I've added No Brains to the Power Pop Shakers playlist and um, Eater have never sounded better than on this single. It's a previously unreleased version of the track uh, taken from producer Dave Goodman's master tapes. What had happened is that their guitarist had left the band and vocalist Andy Blade went into the studio and he added uh, some guitar overdubs which um, were never released at the time. Okay, moving on, we've got an album by Paul Bevoir on the Accident label called A Balloon to the Moon and um, Paul Bevoir was in the band The Jet Set in uh, the early 80s and they were my favourite band to come out of the UK mod revival and uh, Paul Bevoir was the songwriter in the band. Uh, I've added the track this time to the Power Pop Shakers playlist. His songwriting is rooted in the innocence of 60s teenage pop and his skills as an arranger are second to none really. Uh, just imagine what he, he could do if he had uh, a major label, big budget behind him. Next up, it's um, Kid Gulliver and the album Kismet, which is put out by Red on Red Records. Uh, I've added the track Stupid Little Girl to the Power Pop Shakers playlist. The band is the brainchild of a duo, David uh, Armalotti and Simone Burke. Their sound is a classic Ramones-inspired pop punk. Uh, Armalotti's um, clever and uh, often witty lyrics uh, lift it to another level. Uh, the songwriting genius behind the New York proto-punks The Dictators, Andy Chernoff, has uh, reformed uh, the band and he's got Ross the Boss on, on lead guitar too. 
Uh, they've uploaded three tracks to YouTube in recent months. Uh, I'm not aware of them actually being available on vinyl or uh, even as downloads. Uh, hopefully an album is, is uh, forthcoming. Uh, I've added two of these tracks, uh, Goddamn New York and Let's Get the Band Back Together to the Power Pop Shakers playlist. And these are certainly the equal of the classic back catalogue of the Dictators. And finally, um, the, a mention for the Linda Lindas and their long-awaited debut album, Growing Up, is due for release on the Epitaph label on the 8th of April this year. Uh, in recognition of that, uh, Epitaph have uploaded um, to YouTube the title track, Growing Up. Um, and I've put that on the playlist as well if you want to listen to it. It's not as instantly appealing as the um, track O, but it's certainly a grower and uh, its radio friendly sound um, I think is going to result in them competing with the regrets for uh, some summer pop hits. Okay then, and uh, that's it for today. I'll see you again very soon. Take care.